Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Uh, it's Eva from Bohemian Crafting. I hope you are all well and you are having great time in your craft room. A uh, few days ago, a few weeks ago, weeks ago i had to declutter de declutter it my craft room and i uh, gave to charity and salt and etc etc a few of my many of my <laughs> supplies and i then i felt like mm, i'm missing something so i've been shopping again <laughs> i found amazing stuff made by some pool for creative expression yeah. Because I know my English, I'm gonna show you the name properly on one of these. Creative expression. And everything it's designed by some pool. And I have to say, I do love everything what I bought. I bought two dies. Uh, one it's that I'm gonna show you here because that will be, I think, much, much better than a simple die. Those amazing slide frames for uh, for our butterflies and this is the book i'm making out using those dies the other one i didn't create anything yet so it's where is it it's die for tax this one and then <laughs> bunch of stamps and i just couldn't resist because you, you will see look at these beautiful designs the numbers, field notes, nature finds. Uh, I saw somewhere specimen or it's the collection I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for one more collection. Look at these. I'm going to show you this way. Amazing stuff. Really gorgeous stuff. Look at that. How beautifully designed. I love, love, love everything I see on these stamps. And this is my total favorite. <sighs> See, <laughs> so I was thinking I'm gonna do something using these stamps, and before I will do so, yeah, I'm gonna share with you also one of the ideas. My muse kissed me quite well <laughs> lately. So, what I'm doing, I'm doing that uh, flip book using those gorgeous butterfly, the uh, butterfly uh, specimen, uh, specimen slides. So, it will be like flip book. For my specimens, you can do it anywhere you want. You will just need to add those flip flip outs. And uh, they can be also like a pocket, as you can see. So it's amazing to use them this way. Also, another thing, uh, if you ever had in your stuff those test tubes, those long ones, like these, you can find them on Amazon, on eBay, in many shops. Uh, it's laboratory or medical test tube and uh, I bought plastic with the cork end and here I'm trying to do small dome I think it's called a dome or this this display thingy and I'm just thinking what I will add inside <laughs> but I already love it and I used one of these stamps from this one was from this collection from this gorgeousness it was this one, this one, yeah, this stamp. So here you can see how beautiful, big it is. And uh, what I did, I just uh, used my poking tool. I uh, kind of heat up the top of my poking tool. And then very carefully, I tried to go through. But I was <clears throat> kind of too hard, so it broke a little bit. That's why I do have this this uh, label all around because here it blocked a little bit i think i need to do it a few times you know to heat up this top go inside because i felt that it's melting and it's going to like slide but then i was like too fast so if you want to try it be careful take your time and very carefully poke the hole through to that and make a knot inside and just slide a string and you will have nice beautiful hanging thingy for your journals here i'm making another charms using stars and these are uh, fishing swivels swivel hooks something like that i will find out again that that proper name and here <laughs> another idea for my muse uh, these are kind of like washi tape holders and also paper clip 
for my journal so decorative paper clip and here I do have washi tape which I can you know just take off I kind of got sticky just take it off roll it roll it down uh, rip the piece uh, the piece I need and decorate my page in my journal so this can be add to your journals like ready to go for decorating your pages my decorative paper clips with washi tapes Ooh, and we got stuck here so they do look like this and now <sighs> I want to create something using uh, these stamps I do have here uh, with that slide frame uh, I will put names of all of this down below what I'm showing here uh, with that slide frame it's coming also fl film strip so I'm gonna be using that film strip and some of my dice and create something on this card so first what I would like to use is this collection it's called nature finds here nature finds I will put all links oh not links all names down below maybe I can place that also links uh, from UK Amazon otherwise you just copy the name and try to find it in your location if you are interested because they are amazing so what I would like to do uh, I, 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 I was talking about this amazing I don't mean now some some pool I mean uh, Jennifer from Jennifer McGuire Inc I was talking about this channel many times because I love that channel I learn a thousand things from her she's amazing wonderful artist she's very talented and i really love all her tutorials every single video she shared she is teaching some kind of technique or you know something so to watch her channel is is, is amazing really and i saw her uh, on her channel to make kind of like offset stamping which i really love i want to try it maybe it will be <laughs> It will be probably not that good <laughs> like she does but I hope I will somehow reach that that beauty ish <laughs> I hope so so I'm gonna put these flowers in some kind of layer here I'm not sure about this lady here come here you beauty Okay, so I'm gonna make some kind of layer on my tag and do stamped background, hopefully. Hopefully, because I'm, I never know what I will create when I'm stamping. I'm not too strong with stamping. I said that a few times and I know it. It's just too delicate thing for my hands I guess so that's why I do have here this amazing tool by Tim Holtz that stamping platform I love that tool I, I unfortunately I don't use it often because I'm kind of like you know I don't want to mess up <laughs> and my stamping is really <laughs> so I'm gonna ah, here is much more come here come here you little fella Okay, I'm guessing I'm gonna place it this way. Hopefully, I do have also this top one the right way. Do I? I do, but here I need to put my magnet on different space. Yes. Are they? Okay. okay and I'm gonna stamp first with <clears throat> I think I'm gonna take vintage photo for first stamping and stamp with vintage photo a few times to make this color more visible Mm 
Mm -hmm. So maybe I don't have this one the right way. I'm not sure now. I think I, <laughs> I used... Yeah, now I see that. Shoot, I'm going to start all over again. So I took new cards. I <laughs> made position of my stamps and now I need also to change this one. Because you know, that, that shows you how often I'm using it. Not too often and I totally forgot which one supposed to be where. Where it's clear and I do have clear stamps that have to be here, clear. So hopefully now. Are we there? We will see. One more time. See, that is my stamping. Always somehow confusing. <laughs> Are we there? Oh, I think we are. Good. So, one more time. Perfect. I'm going to wipe my stamps to make them a little bit clear. And I'm going to move my card uh, slightly down and to the left. Just slightly, not too much. And I'm gonna keep it this way. And I'm gonna use different uh, Distress ink. And I'm gonna use those Shabby Shooters. I think it's called Shabby Shooters. And I'm gonna stamp again with this color. So it should be kind of like that offset stamping. And I saw that on Jennifer McGuire ink um, channel. And I really love that result. I know mine will be not the same beauty because <laughs> yeah because of my stamping but I really loved what she created with that movement it actually works I love that It works. <laughs> it's so funny. Look at that. I really love that effect so much. So I do have this basic stamping. Now I'm going to take this one. This looks beautiful. This script or what is it? This writing. It looks very gorgeous. And I just need to try it first. This... Uh, Adirondack Espresso, how dark it is. So I'm gonna take back my messed up card just to make sure this will be not too dark. Ah, oh, it actually can be. Okay, I'm gonna use this Adirondack. Am I saying that right? Adirondack uh, Espresso color. And I will try to add here and there, you know, some, some writing. And here. I think that's enough. So now I'm going to add a little bit of uh, kind of brick stenciling here and there. I've got here my... <laughs> I had this uh, white acrylic just so for ages and it get liquidish too much. So what I did, I just add there my uh, sparkle sand from from christmas which is mix of uh 
sand for aquarium. That very fine sand for aquarium. And a little bit of glitter. But I'm guessing I don't see those glitters anymore here. I wanted to make my just a little bit more thick, which was kind of successful, I have to say. <laughs> with, that, with that mix. And yeah, and baby powder. Baby powder is there as well, because baby powder works really well for, for handmade paste. So I'm gonna just add it here and there. Beep. Somehow. And move up. I do have somewhere, some, have somewhere bigger stencil with that brick. Uh, brick design but I can't find it right now so I'm using this one I don't remember name of this maybe some of my patreons if they did receive the last year uh, parcel some of my ambassadors can help if they still have the package or hopefully they did receive the package I'm not sure Okay, so I do have my stenciling, so I'm gonna dry that uh, stenciling, I think that just so it's dry I'm gonna use the vintage photo again and I'm gonna uh, distress the edges of this card with vintage photo quite heavily and maybe it's not dry totally i can see because it's still moving and uh, too fast yeah now i need to clean up my brush as well and i've got here my homemade mix but because i haven't used it for ages the this one it's stuck and it don't want to spray so what i'm gonna do I'm gonna add a little bit of my homemade mix with this kind of gray green ish color and I will try to use my brayer and just go over it just to add a little bit oh, okay maybe not a little bit maybe even a little bit more And we will see. I'm gonna let it dry. So I dried my tack uh, with my heating tool and uh, now you can even see that sparkle <laughs> in my gesso. Now it pop up, popped up. So here and there it's sparklish because of my mix in my gesso. I'm gonna use again my <laughs> messed up tack or paper and I'm gonna cut uh, using the die. Where is it? This die. I have to kind of find out what for is this one and this one. Not sure about those two small dies. I will have to find out what for it is. So I do have my tack die cut it from my messed up paper. I'm gonna take one more time my stamping platform and from this collection Timeless Roses. I'm gonna take that ledger stamp this one. I do have my stamping done and first I stamped with that uh, Adirondack uh, espresso but it was just you know it, it was just like meh, like without life so I then took this red one from Docraft Do uh, premium ink pigment ink pad red one just simple red one and stamp that again and it does have beautiful kind of like burgundy color which I like more. 
So I just die cut it one more time, this top one, to match it with that frame and with this inside of the frame. And this white one, which I cut it at the first row, I think I'm gonna add here after I will find out what I will stamp in there. I'm gonna use some of these stamps because they are. Oh, nature is not peace to visit. How big you are? Show me yourself. No, that will be too much. Okay, something a little bit smaller or where I will don't mind that the uh, the writing will be covered. I think this one is actually... Why not? So I'm gonna use these stamps and create few small labels on the paper. Like this, and here I'm gonna use that white thingy. I'm gonna distress it with a vintage photo first, and I'm gonna also use yeah, it can be this way. I'm gonna use my <coughs> scissors. This will be just like decoration, so I don't mind, it will be a little bit bold it and it's back and I can place that this and put that eyelet so I'm working on my way to stamp some uh, some labels and I'm using all kind of stamps from these amazing collections I adore especially these these are really totally awesome dates from the past it's uh, called this collection of stamps I love them very much they are amazing here you can see them for for people who are making vintage journals this is must have I guess <laughs> at least for me that's why I bought it <laughs> because I felt in love with those with those stamps so I'm making kind of my you know mini labels and I stamped here that nature this will go to the to the frame and I stamped there also small a B. I do have that strip. I do have my mini tuck, and I'm working on a few labels here to have them ready to go. So for my tuck, I'm using uh, this embossing folder, and what I did, uh, I just slide that to my embossing folder, and went to uh, here is my uh, embossing machine, and I went this way, not straight like this, but this way, so it did embossed. Uh, till I went in in to my embossing machine or cutting machine I didn't went through to all I just stopped here and then went back and that way I do have this corner without embossing and I do have kind of vanished that ombre I'm gonna call that ombre and to match the tack that tack with that background I'm gonna use one more time my homemade mix and I'm gonna just try to add and maybe we'll use the brayer again. I think I will. It will be <laughs> much more easy. Okay. What I've got in there. So I do have that tack dry. And I'm going to distress the edges with the vintage photo again. And add there distress ink with my distressing tool and let it dry again I'm gonna add a uh, stitching all around of that tack this background and also I did stamping on the frame I used stamps from this collection like this frame here and some numbers I think this one yeah uh, that number I stamped here and that frame here and here just you know to add there some lines so uh, I'm gonna glue that frame and I'm not gonna glue it straight I will try to place it do you remember if you saw my gorgeous girls journal uh, there was a stamp where papers wasn't placed together evenly they was kind of like this way 
that not exactly, but one was um, like not even date. <laughs> Don't know the right word. So I'm gonna make stitching all around here, all around of the tuck and all around of my background. So I think I do have all prepared for I probably will use. <laughs> I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna glue this topper to my tag and put their eyelet like this and now I'm gonna start to glue it uh, on my background uh, this I will glue it flat at least I will try to glue it on my paper paper background with my stenciling so I'm gonna add their glue and I think somewhere here the tack uh, I will add to double-sided tape, but bef uh, before I will do so, I'm going to use these small tacks and do a layer around my tack. I think this one here. Yeah. This one we're right next to it. Oh come on, stick, stick in there. Hold in there. Okay, it doesn't wanna hold, so I'm gonna do a little bit more. I'm gonna just staple it and add there a little bit more interest. Like this, on these small uh, staples I will add my small mix this is weathering powder for models you can find it in any kind of store where they are selling those small air airplanes and boat so these uh, people who are creating those small models of trains airplanes and stuff like that they are using colors and also weathering powders and this one it's for a rusty effect I do have one for dark rust and one for uh, light rust and I mixed that with bindex I was talking about this one few times already if you watched my old videos you know what I mean I will try to find a link where I am making kind of like tutorial for this if I will find it And maybe a little bit here to add there that rust. And here on top, just to wipe out my brush. Here. Okay, that's this one. Now you, will you hold on there? This way. Now we have this one. Like this. And stick it together. And I'm gonna clip it here as well on the bottom. And the dress. So where I place you. I think I'm gonna cover that Paris and I will keep just that bottom of this circle somewhere here mm, this I would like to have a little bit like popped up on that tag so I'm gonna use double-sided tape I'm gonna use this foam double-sided tape and place that foam double-sided tape on the back of my small tack here and I think somewhere here maybe this will be enough I will see 
yeah maybe so here I need to place kind of like double layer too long okay and it sticks really well <laughs> so first I'm gonna take off that backing paper and at the second one that will be too long too second one too make it possible to stick it to the background as well with sticks really nicely oh shoot so i'm gonna take off these two and try to place it straight that writing not that frame but that writing I will try to place it straight I think aha this way I think I am ish Here to the middle, I'm gonna place this Nature Finds, and with that date, it's also from this stamp, from those stamps. It's probably mixed from two collections. I, I'm thinking, and I'm gonna place. I had to unglue this one because I found in my stuff this one. I made a few of these butterflies a few days ago. Uh, it is uh, Tim Holtz. Those two butterflies on uh, Sizzix Bigs die and uh, I had few those brochets so I just um, stitched the cheesecloth with few stitches and then glue on it the, the butterflies no I stitched those butterflies with the cheesecloth and then glued on it that that brochet and I think it will look really gorgeous here with that nature finds right above it somewhere here So first I'm gonna try to glue this label. Are you straight? Yes you are. Now my butterfly, here I'm gonna use Uhu glue as well because I know that Uhu glue works with the fabric much much better way than my tacky glue. And I forgot I wanna put this tack on the double sided tape as well. So I'm gonna add double sided tape from uh, back side, that foam one. So I do have foam double sided tape mostly on all on that background. I'm gonna take it off and place it to my tag here. The way where I can still see that ledger paper here on the bottom and here on the top. And that's nearly done. I do have here the last two labels I created. So one I will put probably on the top. I'm gonna place it right here because I wanna put those field notes here so it's kind of like you know that extension from both sides and that's it I think that's all my creation today I hope you did enjoy it uh, if you haven't seen amazing designs by some pool go to have a look uh, i promise you it it's worth it i was so surprised I, that i didn't know this this when i uh, when i first find that that slight frame then i googled some some pool designs and i was amazed by her job by her work by her beautiful stamps and dice so i had to buy it <laughs> straight away so this is my creation for today i hope you did enjoy it i hope you had a good time 
thank you so much for visiting me today. Thank you so, so much for spending your time with me today. Have a beautiful day. Take care about yourself and I will see you soon. Bye.